your house, a local company has created what's being referred to in the medical world as a so-called God pill. Joining us to talk about it is Dr. Sabrina Fabi. All right, a God pill? What are we talking about here? Well, it's actually a company right here in San Diego called Samumed, and they're basically stating that they have a pill that can reverse anywhere from the gray of our hair and turning it back to its original color to actually reversing arthritis, which is an inflammation that occurs in our joints and affects millions of Americans every single year. Okay, so how, so is it one pill that they claim can do all of these things or are they kind of doing one at a time? So they're doing one at a time and they're basically trying to go against conditions that come on with age, whether it's graying, whether it's balding, whether it's wrinkles, which could potentially take me, basically take me off the market and I would no longer have a job. Um, but many conditions, arthritis, uh, a condition that causes blindness called uh, macular uh, you know, blindness that we see with patients as they get older. So. Condition by condition, they're trying to target it, and it's all basically premised on one pathway called the WNT pathway, uh, which is a pathway that we learn very much in medical school and controls whether fruit flies, believe it or not, end up getting wings or not. And so this same pathway is responsible for many of the age-related conditions that we see in humans as well. That is so interesting. So talk to me about, you talked a little bit about this pathway. That, so are they trying to alter that? in like our DNA or something, or we'd take the pill and then that would change that? Exactly, so if that pathway is not blocked, then it, we've actually seen in cancer as being a reason why cancer cells continue to grow. So if you're able to allow it to continue to grow, then you may see cells continue to grow. In the case of hair, that might not be a bad thing, but in the case of other things, it might be a bad thing because it could cause cancer theoretically. So they're altering this gene depending on the organ. They're going organ by organ, whether it's the lung uh, for a condition that causes scarring the lung or whether it's uh, the, the kidneys or whether it's the colon for cancer. They're targeting an organ by organ to basically alter it so that you can prevent tumor formation, in some cases actually grow more hair. As we look at some of the other uh, things that this company is doing, do you anticipate, Dr. Fabi, that this is sort of the future of not only medicine, but your field in aging and anti-aging? Well, I think that there's no doubt that in the end, no matter how much we do topically or with injections, we can never change someone's DNA. I always tell my patients that that's what they come in with, and I'm working with that canvas. But if we're able to alter that somehow, I do believe that that is the future of medicine. I think that we'll hmm. ultimately be able to add to the treatments that we can offer for our patients so they can get enhanced and better results. So I think that there's a lot of promise, but just like this company, many others get to this point and usually 80% don't make it beyond this point. So it sounds extremely interesting, especially when you have, you're on the cover of Forbes magazine claiming that you may have the God pill, mm -hmm. but we'll see if it comes to fruition. Really interesting. All right, Dr. Fabi, keep us posted. Look forward to the conversation. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jen. Love the look.